My house is literally murder in the summertime now. I literally am like almost naked by the time I'm done recording in there. Like, have you ever seen Ace Ventura 2 where Jim Carrey's trying to climb out of the rhino? That's like literally me every time I record now. This album, uh, when we first started, I remember I didn't have a whole lot of ideas. Uh, I knew that Melancholy obviously left uh, some big shoes to fill. So I wanted to write something that could really captivate our listeners in a way. And uh, I started getting some ideas um, from some different historical uh, events. And uh, the way that these songs felt, they just had this dark, uh, epic feel to them. I just wanted to match that level of of uh, energy, I guess you could say, uh, and I wanted to bring a, a heavier topic in that kind of makes people sit and think and be like, huh, for a second. Um, and uh, with this, we took some real world uh, problems and experiences and events um, that had a huge impact on people's lives, and I wanted to kind of write them in a, in a way that throws it right in your face. So you can kind of experience um, these things that happen in the world that most people don't even hear about or know about um, these really evil awful things you know maybe kinda make people realize that while everything here uh, is going as is and we have our problems and go about our lives and you know um, there are other people out there that are going through absolute hell and uh, you know deserve to have their story shared yeah that's it oh. Uh, another reason why I chose this topic is because it's always been something I've been really passionate about. Uh, I've always been a bit of a historian at heart, mostly because my great-grandfather was a World War II veteran uh, who fought in Europe for several years and was a part of some pretty crazy, uh, enormous historical events. Uh, and he always kind of inspired me throughout my early life and I wanted to be in the military So I've always been interested in this kind of stuff And I, I always wanted to write a record like this and this seemed like it was the perfect opportunity for that So on our first record um, I had all of our lyrics written out before we even like really dove into the songs, uh, aside from the five that we had recorded on our first EP. Um, and I kind of would try to rhythmically match those lines into the song. And this, the last couple albums, we did things a little differently. And this time, the album wrote itself. Like, just hearing it, I already had ideas of how the vocals should sound, the way that the flows should be, all the way down to how the vowels sounded in these parts. And I just kind of thought for a second and placed these stories into these sounds and ideas that I had uh, right from the start. And uh, this is the first record I've ever done anything like that for, and it was definitely weird and hard at times, but I had such a vision for how I wanted these songs to sound, uh, and it completely came out how I wanted it to. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> The factor of us recording ourselves at home uh, leaves a lot of space for innovation and uh, refining, I guess, because you know we're not set in a studio where we have X amount of time to record whatever, and that's kind of how we did our first two albums, where I was living in a different state and I would come and stay with Chris uh, for like a week and we'd shell out the album and I'd go back home and that was it. Uh, whereas Melancholy in this album uh, we can do the finals and I can kind of take my time and be like, mm, I don't really like the way this uh, this part sounds or, you know, we'll change it up or something like that. So uh, I'm a big fan of how we've been writing these last couple records. It uh, makes it a lot easier and I think the product in the end comes out a lot better too. Uh, instead of V, just to see. Yep. <clears throat> Breathe in the blood! That is my vote personally. What do you think? I like that one a little better. Sounds a little more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. When people hear this album, I hope that they just kind of stop and think uh, about you know life in general, 
and you know take a step outside of the moment that you're living in and think about uh, you know other people and how your actions might affect other people or what you say uh, because that's something that I don't think a lot of people do these days uh, a lot of people are really trapped in their own heads or you know really all in it for themselves and it's just uh, it's not a good way to live and uh, I think that we can do better as a species and uh, hopefully this album you know will make people look into these uh, types of events and see that we have to do better as a whole.